Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, tons of things, and especially when you have a lot of resources, this is one of the challenges. You're working on a portal that portal.azure.com and you need to sort them, you need to find them. Uh, you might have uh, resources uh, which are just having the name dev and you want to find all of them and delete them. Or maybe you have the prod uh, resources. Now, when we go to the Azure portal, uh, when you create the VMs, uh, you create the VNets, uh, you create sub VNets, uh, you create uh, uh, DNS entries, and uh, there are tons of things that you are going to create. Uh, and uh, it really become kind of difficult uh, to uh, you know see them in the portal. Now, what we are going to do here, we are going to use some query techniques uh, and those queries are called the coastal queries. Uh. So there is a tab available on the Azure portal that we can use once we open that query tab, then we can write our coastal queries. Uh, and there are some sample uh, queries available for us to start uh, working on that one. So let me take you to my portal and show you. First of all, uh, let's say in this case, uh, this is my Azure portal and uh, I have only a uh, few resources. So I have only this resource group. In this resource group, I have uh, one ADF, Azure Data Factory, one uh, storage account. I don't have a whole lot. But I have seen people, they have hundreds of resources in one subscription. So they need to find out. So every time they need to find out like, oh, I want to find out how many SQL server I have, how many databases I have. So it really get harder. And then if they will say like, oh, let me go to SQL databases, it gives them the list. But they, if they need to filter the databases which start with name A, which or which, which has a underscore or something like that. So you need to uh, get the list of them, maybe want to export them, maybe have a dashboard of those list and people can see that so we are going to create all that so you're going to go to a resource group here and once you're in the resource group uh, a fancy tab is called open query right there so you're going to click right there and it's going to open this azure resource graph explorer for you now there is already this query and comes right with it we can run the query and uh, what it is returning us it's returning us two uh, resources in our resource group if you remember, our uh, we were in Tech Brothers IT resource group. That's why this is returning us so only two resources group, right? And also we don't have a whole lot of resources. Anyways, uh, now what we are gonna do? We are not gonna play with this big query here, and we are gonna just delete everything here. So now we, if we have already coast to query saved that you want to run, you can open from here. If you want to write your new query, you can do it and uh, see right there all of these uh, different uh, views available for us that we can use. The most important here is called the resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type resources. So see, I just type RES and it uh, IntelliSense brought me this resources here. So I'm going to click right there. Once I click there, it uh, what it did, uh, it uh, actually created uh, this pipe sign with it. Um, so I don't really need it if I just wanna go ahead and run all the resources available. So if I execute, it is asking me, hey, you have some problem with your code. So that's the code problem. I don't need this. Uh, uh, pipe sign. This pipe sign I'm going to remove and then execute run the query. Okay, now you see that uh, these are the different resources I have. So I have Tech Brother IT ADF, I have Tech Brother Storage, I have this uh, TB Logic apps. So even I didn't know that I, it is still sitting there somewhere. So it's global. It tells you my location, you know, and then application inside smart detection. So I even don't know what it is, you know. Um, uh, this uh, Logic Analytics uh, workspace, it is also this is the default. So uh, that's what I was saying. Uh, with the when you work with the uh, Azure, it sometimes it create a lot of uh, resources, and you are like, oh, I did not create this resource. So those, so those resources are created automatically uh, by some other resources, such as if you create uh, Azure SSIS IR, it create the load balancer, it create some other um, NSGs and all that. So uh, you will be surprised like, oh, there are tons of resources that are created and how even to navigate through and get a list of them. Now, what we are gonna do here, we uh, we need to filter this. So resources, it will return you all that. So once we are gonna hit uh, enter and then we are gonna put pipe sign. So this is the, the course to query, this is the syntax, this is how it is going to be so you're going to write where clause and then you are going to say select the let's say i want to select the name so see right there that's the name column right there if i will say name and then i will say equal instead of it, it accept equal equal so think about that if i'm looking for a tech brothers storage 
Okay, so if I want to get this, uh, I have to put equal equal. It's not like SQL Server where you say uh, just one uh, one time equal to, you know. So you have to put double equal to uh, uh, get the value. So you're going to execute it and you see that it is a tech reserve uh, storage. Now, if uh, somehow if I will uh, type it a uh, capital T and execute it, it's not going to return me anything because it's a case sensitive. But there is a way to handle that. If you are here and uh, you instead of equal equal, if you will put equal tilde, then it's going to ignore the case sensitivity and get you the result. So, so if we go further down there. Now you see that it is returning you. So you can play with it, uh, you know. So if uh, you feel like, oh, I need to, uh, um, this is a case insensitive, I want to play with that way. So use the tilde instead of that. Now, if I want to uh, put some other uh, clauses such as, uh, now if, uh, let me just run it. And uh, if I want to say where name, anything that uh, uh, contains uh, tech resources, okay. So I can say that where name instead of equal, I will say contains. And then I will say uh, tech brothers. Okay, so but then we execute it and uh, see when I say contains, it does not uh, care about case sensitivity. So it uh, this was a tech is T's capital, so it brought it uh, here. Now this is how you can uh, write your where classes here in the coast query. And now if you want to go further and you have multiple regions and all that, and you are only looking for, let's say um, now. If I will do this kind, right? So instead of uh, I don't want to get anything, I want to say kind is equal to storage v2, right? So I can copy this guy right there, and then now I will say kind, and uh, now equal equal double quotes this. So this is uh, now becoming more filters are being applied. So and you see that uh, uh, also I can so do believe I can put uh, another uh, where. If uh, I want to do something like this, this is going to return me pretty much the same results. So you see that. So you could have put AND clause or you can put another WHERE clause. So first it's going to get you this, then sort it, then another WHERE clause will be implemented and just sort the records for this WHERE clause. Okay, so this is how you are going to write your code store. Now, what we are going to do from here, we uh, I want to show you a few more things. So I am just curious if this thing is just killing me right now uh, the left uh, uh, whole thing I believe it is because of my monitor settings uh, so if uh, I go to the open query again and here I'm not gonna make it small this time or larger so here you see that uh, I have tons of things uh, so I have a uh, let me just type resources so we see everything now now uh, here you have this uh, language reference. If you click right there, it has uh, all those uh, coastal queries, uh, those can be used. Um, so it is uh, open in this uh, Microsoft document uh, uh, that has uh, these all queries. Let's say you want to get the count of uh, Azure resources. So you can get that. It's going to be resources summarized counter. So if I copy this guy, it might get a problem if you guys already noticed that the resources is small. And if I just paste this query there, it is uh, it might not run. You know, let's run it. It did run anyways so but uh, it is still show you uh, right there like it's in total resources I have six but this is still shows you like uh, this should be small because the object names are small here okay uh, now what we can do here uh, we can go somebody want to say hey I need to get the list of the key vault resources so they can say resources where type is equal to Microsoft the key vault dot uh, uh, backslash walls so you can do that I don't have it any and then you can implement uh, the count so uh, in this case uh, if you guys see right there I have summarized count by count so if you want to count them right now if uh, you have um, you can go further here if you want to get the list of the resources but you want to show only three columns so you can do that uh, remember we are using asterisk here so we are not saying uh, there is asterisk here but we are in a way, so when we say resources, all resources, and we do not tell which column, it get all the columns. But if we want to get only name, column, type column, and uh, location, so we can say project, and then the na name of the columns we want to show. And if we want to use order by, so name and descending or descending. Remember, this uh, pipe sign has to come uh, before all of these uh, keywords. Uh, so I project uh, where uh, order by and uh, all that. So wherever you want to do that. Now we are good here. So you see that uh, this is uh, what we are getting here. 
Now, uh, let me go back uh, and uh, you have uh, other, if you're gonna get the virtual machines and all that, you can get it. If you wanna get the first five virtual machine by name and their OS type, so you can also get that. So resources where type is equal to Microsoft.compute.virtualmachines and then you will say project, uh, get me a list of these columns. And then uh, you are saying top five by name descending. So you can use top query. So in this case, uh, let's say if I wanna say top one, it's gonna just get me in top first value, right? Top one, okay, or top 10, or you know, you can use whatever you want. So in this case, uh, let's say top one by name, okay, by name, okay. So now if we run this query, we have tech versus uh, right there, okay. So now if you wanna see the detail, let's say this is storage and you wanna just see more detail, you click right there and a window will open and that will tell you what it is and all more details. So if I will do more, so run query, this is your data factory, see details, so it will show you all, okay? So now actually if I go all the way resources and run this query, and now if I will hit on something, let's say see detail, and this is where I'm gonna get a lot more detail. So all these columns that will show up in that uh, window. So right there, let's say if I wanna go uh, your data factory, right? Uh, that's uh, my third record. So click right there. So once I do that, all those uh, information will be uh, in this uh, uh, chart there. There would be properties there, you know, so tons of things I can see. Instead of uh, just uh, seeing in tabular, I can see the detail. Now, what we can do from here, we can uh, save. So, okay, if I go and save, I can save my query and then come back and rerun it, okay? So that's possible. And uh, let's uh, do some more things from here. Uh, we can provide feedback, we can save as, uh, we can uh, do new query. If I am uh, working on multiple queries, I can do that. Now, um, in this case, you know, so if you wanna do another resource, whatever, so you got the idea, like, uh, you know, uh, the multiple queries can be written and you can keep working on between them, switch between them, whatever you want to. Now, uh, if I go to the, right there, uh, let's do open a query, sorry, uh, new query, and see right there, every time you open a new query, you're gonna see all these uh, uh, items there. So most recent queries you're gonna see. Then you're gonna see the examples. So you're gonna see basic examples, like account as your resources. So if you click right there, let's say we have nothing here. If I open query, it will bring that the same query what we have seen here. So if you guys see uh, right there, uh, as your account resources, it's the same query, it is already embedded here. So we can go ahead and uh, run the query and uh, now six. Um, if I go back to get started and now what's gonna happen, uh, you can go to next query. If you want to delete this, just uh, select everything right there, delete and go to next query. List resources with specific tag value if you've been using tag. So this is also one good way uh, to learn uh, how to write coastal queries. So you can see uh, how it works. So, so you, I don't have really tags or anything like that. So that's why you can close it, close it. Now, if you go back to the get started of query, then they have some more complex queries. So uh, count of uh, machine and scope of guest configuration, what not, at least, uh, I don't know. They have tons of advanced queries as well. So if you wanna use a few of list, uh, all tag names, you know, uh, that's possible. So if you wanna go ahead and just delete this part and say, okay, open and the see resources go to the project tags get me only tags and uh, summarize uh, build schema tags so it's going to summarize them uh, by build schema and tags so it's going to be giving you kind of uh, uh, summarize uh, all for those all tags you have in my case i don't have any tags okay so go back to the query first get started again and now let's go in this case we have all the resources here right get started one more thing i was uh, thinking about okay keyboard shortcuts and uh, here uh, you are gonna be like, okay, left, right, select all, control A, move to line up, line down, and all that, you can do that here, open a saved query, control O. So I don't know if I will remember that, uh, but I might just use whatever is available, okay? Language preference, we have spoken about it. About uh, resource graph, if you wanna learn more, uh, it's, uh, you know, welcome to resource graph, or resources browsed by experience, you know, you can work on this one and uh, take a look, uh, I have not used this one, just to let you know. Okay, so if I go back here, 
it closed that window <laughs> for me so I can go back to the, my uh, again resource open query and uh, then uh, I am looking for something uh, I was thinking uh, uh, I don't know where did I use that uh, so I can create a dashboard out of this uh, so I can add this guy so to the dashboard so uh, messages no execute queries results you can see yeah here that's what I was uh, talking about so if I run my query and uh, I don't need this pipe sign here so now if I execute my query and then I will say pin to dashboard that's important for me because let's say if I would like to get the list of these all tags and then uh, type and uh, maybe location and resource group and subscription and then that would be great you know so maybe I will say something like project so I will say name or I will just put in a different route uh, order so location and then comma type and then a name okay so only these things and I can go around the query and this is how I'm gonna get and then I have detail there and I'm gonna go to the pin to dashboard and uh, now it's gonna be okay shared so my all the team members and everybody can see now I will go to the create new and here I will give the name so I will say list of my all Azure resources okay so then uh, subscription yes in this same subscription published to the dashboards resources group yes create and pin okay so this is created successfully so now I don't have to worry about to go back even write a query I can go to home and here uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, this uh, three dots here or whatever and then go to the dashboard and here uh, in the dashboard I can uh, click on drop down and say my dashboard so let's see uh, right there now this is my all the resources and uh, what we have there and now let me go back here and go to the list of my all the resources so that's shared you guys see this icon right there so click right there and uh, now if you guys can see right there this is a beautiful uh, uh, dashboard I have so I have location I have uh, uh, these uh, name uh, types and names and uh, all the uh, details so from here uh, I can actually if I want to do some more for uh, formatted you know something like if I want to be just uh, uh, uncheck and all that I think I can do it but uh, I don't know why it's not uh, let me do it right now but I can do on and off so it's I believe it once uh, it's settled down I can do that okay so uh, also you can uh, and this is uh, just uh, changing the size and all that so you can do how it will look like okay so but uh, I can I expanded this one just to for myself so I can see that now if I want to go for the detail uh, you know I can uh, save dashboard has uh, unsaved changes so I saved it now and now if I can do a formatting here so formatted results unformatted so right there so it's your choice how you want it and uh, if you do the formatted uh, you know you can uh, click right there so yeah right there. this looks better formatted so sorry go back to the dashboard okay so I don't want to make changes so here so this bit looks better and now if I want to see details about my your data factory I can right click here and uh, remove from dashboard or open it or whatever I want to do so I can do it um, configure uh, let me see configure title settings I don't want to get into this one so but anyways if I want to say uh, dev Azure data factory okay so save now you can make a just click it right there you know whatever data factory let's say you have this data factory here if you want to click right there and uh, you want to say like see um, that's the name that's your data factory location and all that so it gives you a lot more details so, so uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, this uh, open query kind of menu did help you but you can play I, as I told you you can play forever on these tabs so you can export if you want you can you can edit if you want you know so you can do tons of things uh, so I'm also learning and uh, uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, will uh, you know make use of this uh, tab and uh, learn uh, something uh, how to get the list of all age resources or specific resources uh, and it will make your life easy thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video